Hey, you. Me? Yes, you. Do you go to the library? No, where is it? Oh, wait. Here it is. Come on, let's go. Well, now that I'm here, what can I do? You can read a lot of books and get really smart. You can watch movies. You can do homework in peace and quiet. You can take a break from your busy day and relax. You can write a song. You can take time to reflect on your life. You can hang out with your friends. So am I awesome now? Super awesome. Visit the Del Valle Library today. Speaking of the library, you know what I read on the internet? What? Teachers are now going to be able to carry guns on campus. What? No way. Yeah, take a look. Earlier this week, the Texas Senate passed the Texas School Safety Training Act, which will allow teachers to earn a school safety certification, allowing them to carry a concealed handgun on school campuses statewide. Uh, that's a very difficult question, but I think with the proper training, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I mean, if they feel safe like that, then that's fine, as long as they don't use it against us. That's dangerous. They're going to shoot us. <laughs> there are certain rules in order for them to, to use the gun. Yeah. Well, yeah, they have guns. Shoot me, have guns. I don't think they should do that because it's bad because it can kill us. Several states have already approved the gun control law because of the tragedies occurring in schools. For instance, the Sandy Hook shooting. But there's some dangerous places, and I don't think we we need it here. I do think that the police and the security they should be strapping and packing in case there ever is an emergency. Texas school districts have embraced this new law and are allowing teachers to carry a gun. So far, none of the districts in El Paso are participating in the Texas School Safety Training Act. Reporting for Conquest Journal, I'm Bridget, signing off. Now let's hand it over to Jose. For the World News Update. Hey DV, my name is Jose and I'm here with your World News Update. Our first story is the demolition of a Sarco. A Sarco has been part of El Paso for over 100 years. Many people wish to see El Sarco turn into a landmark or at least have more testing done. It is unknown what chemicals are being released into the air. The next day, Sunday, City Hall was demolished to make way for a new AAA stadium. Set to open in early 2014, with this new stadium for the El Paso Padres, the El Paso Diablos will no longer be allowed to play. The team will be renamed for El Paso at a later date. In Boston on Monday, there was a more serious bombing on the runners in the Boston Marathon. Two bombs went off in the crowd killing three people and injuring over 140. Two more bombs were later found after the race and then disarmed. Volunteers had to move the barriers out of the way in order to get to those who are injured. For more up-to-date information, visit CNN.com. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. This is Jose with your World News Update, signing off. One of our Conquest Journal crew members participated in a walk that helps fund for the Special Olympics in Texas this past Sunday. Oh look, here she comes. I'm tired. Well, how'd it go? That was fun. Here, take a look. This past Sunday, part of El Paso's community, including one of our Conquest Journal crew members, woke up early in the morning to go support the kids with special needs by either walking in a two-mile event or participating in an 8K run. This is part of our, one of our charities that we do for law enforcement. It's called the Ruben Orozco Torch Run. But actually all the proceeds, everything goes for the Special Olympics to help children with special needs to be able to go to state to participate in the state games. People of all ages participated, including this brave person. About an hour after everyone had finished, he came in with a huge smile on his face while being welcomed and cheered by the participants of the Special Olympics. 
I've been doing this for the past what, 10 years, and uh, we're going to complete doing it. It's rewarding, you know, it's, it's, it's a passion for us. Prizes and trophies were later given out to some of the participants who show their accomplishment and gratitude for their participation in the Special Olympics. Reporting for Conquest Journal, this is Anna signing off. Wow, watching all that walking made me really hungry. Yeah, let's see what John has made for us in the kitchen. Let's see. Hey, DV. Welcome to our first episode of Conquest Journal in the Kitchen. I'm John, and we got our special guest with us, Austin. How are you doing there? Hi. So, so, John, what are we making today? Today we're making green spinach chicken wrap. They're both nutritious and delicious. Mmm, let's get started. Wait, wait, wait. First things first, we gotta wash our hands. Okay. All right, now that we're nice and clean, let's get started. For this recipe, you will need chicken breast, any tortilla, spinach, dip, avocado, cucumber, and cheese. Start by cooking and cutting your chicken. Place your tortilla on the flame. Now spread any dip of your choice all over the tortilla. All over the tortilla. Then add your chicken breast. And the avocado. A pinch of salt. Cucumbers. Pepinos. And don't forget the spinach. Gotta have your greens. Now for the final ingredient. Cheese! 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 And now to wrap things up. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your finished product. Thanks for watching our first episode of Conquest Journal in the Kitchen. Enjoy. Well, that's it for today's episode of Conquest Journal. I'm Jesse. And I'm Kayla. Signing, Signing off. off.